I'm here in a hotel with my Dash Mini Waffle Maker and a package of Betty Crocker Chocolate Chip Cookie Mix. And the question is, will it waffle? Counter cooking. No kitchen, no problem. So I bought this cookie mix at Dollar Tree. It was $1.25 for this package. It says it's ready in three easy steps and it makes 12 two inch cookies. And on the back it says we'll need a half a stick, which is a quarter cup of butter, margarine, or spread, and one tablespoon of water. Well, we don't have any butter, margarine, or spread, so we're only going to use water. And because we're only using water, I don't expect these to come out like a cookie. I'm thinking they might come out more like a muffin or more like cake and we'll see how that goes and then they tell you the instructions heat oven to 375 or 350 for non-stick cookie sheets stir cookie mix soften butter and water in medium bowl until dough forms drop dough by rounded tablespoonfuls two inches apart onto ungreased cookie sheets bake for 11 to 13 minutes until edges are golden brown so we're not going to do that we're going to do it our own way so here's my bowl. Let's dump the contents of the package into the bowl. The first thing I notice is there's a lot of chocolate chips. A lot. Can you see all of these chocolate chips? I mean, there's a crazy amount of chocolate chips here. To me, they look like milk chocolate chips. I like dark chocolate, so... We'll see how this comes out. And now I am going to add a little bit of water. I don't know. I'm going to measure out about a half cup, but I'm probably only going to put in a quarter cup to, to start with. Let's put some water in. That's like a quarter cup, and let's see what happens when we mix it together. Getting a lot of chocolatey aroma. And it looks like we're gonna have to add some more, some more water. Let's see how well this mixes in. Yeah, let's add some more water. There was maybe another tablespoon. Maybe it was too much. I don't want it to be soupy. But yeah, I think I went a little bit too far with a little bit too much water, but that's okay. It'll be interesting to see what happens. So this is what the batter looks like. This is with about a quarter cup of water and another tablespoon. This is my Dash Mini Waffle Maker. I just plugged it in. The blue light is on. Once the blue light goes off, then we're ready to start cooking. The blue light just went off, so let's open this up. Let's put in some batter. I did two heaping tablespoons. And let's shut this. And we'll be back in a few minutes. There's quite a bit of steam coming out of the waffle maker. That's one thing I've noticed is that if I cook something in the griddle versus the waffle maker, more steam comes out of the waffle maker than the griddle. And I'm just gonna cook these until I'm smelling the aroma of fresh baked cookies. Right now, I'm not smelling anything. It's a few minutes later and I'm definitely smelling fresh baked cookies, so let's see what's going on inside. Wow, look at that, that looks beautiful. It's a beautiful golden brown color. 
Let's see what the other side looks like. That's the other side. It's even more golden brown, so let's unplug this. It smells like fresh baked chocolate chip cookies. So I put it on this aluminum foil because I don't have a cooling rack or anything, and uh, this will put some airflow underneath it, or at least a little bit of airflow underneath it. This is a really nice size waffle. It's really thick. I'm gonna let it cool off a little bit, and then we're gonna taste it. Okay, it's been a few minutes, and it's definitely cooled off quite a bit and it's gotten a lot firmer. I think all of the sugar in this mix has really kind of um, made this um, nice and crispy. So, so let's break it open. It looks delicious inside. And that's what it looks like. This is our chocolate chip cookie waffle. Let's give it a taste. It's very good. So the outside is crispy. Not exactly crunchy, but it's definitely crispy and um, firm. And the inside is nice and soft. And it's a nice contrast of textures. It's also kind of chewy because the the sugar is kind of caramelized a bit so you do have a bit of chewiness to this I don't know if you could tell that by the way it breaks open but uh, it came out really nice it tastes like a chocolate chip cookie and it looks like a waffle it's really sweet but it's very good and this would be great with some vanilla ice cream on top or some whipped cream on top like a chocolate chip cookie waffle with vanilla ice cream on top. Oh my gosh, that would be amazing. So yeah, this came out excellent. And if you're traveling and if you have a Dash Mini waffle maker with you and you pick up a bag of this Betty Crocker chocolate chip cookie mix, it makes a really nice treat. It makes a really nice dessert. I, I would definitely not eat this for breakfast just because it's way too sweet. This is definitely more like a dessert waffle. I don't even think I could eat this entire waffle because it's so sweet. It's actually pretty dense. So I'd probably only eat a quarter of this waffle, maybe a half of the waffle, but it's really good. It's very tasty, came out great. So yeah, this Betty Crocker chocolate chip cookie mix does waffle. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to this channel to see what else we can make in this Dash Mini Waffle Maker. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, bye.